put your time into one or two now that I won't be pursuing your time employment with you anymore. But I appreciate your taking the time, so I'm very, very, very respectful and polite. But it's okay to like say no if he thinks it's not a good fit for you. Okay. So, is that but, clear? but in dates, like it's necessary to say, like, are you the right person for me? But in job interviews, I'm assuming I don't know how to know. I'm assuming you don't be like, are you the right job for me? No. For you, you do ask questions <laughs> in the interview, like, um, what's your typical day like? What do you like best, like, dislike best, most about the job? What would you change? What makes this job unique? Like, you can ask questions that are kind of probing that fit issue without being like an arrogant dickhead out uh, totally out front. But you can ask questions that get to that issue without being like that. So what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So in terms of networking, stock jobs, not dates. Um, before you have an interview, read the website of the organization. Like, you want to know what they're about, what their mission is, like, basically know who they are because it's bad to go to a place and be like, so what's, what's Google about? And they'll be like, okay, no. <laughs> um, whereas in a date, it's like, okay, you don't have to know anything about them because you want to know them as part of the date. So it's kind of a different dynamic. Um, networks are useful in terms of the alumni careers network. There's a password and stuff on that in the handout. Um, use your parents' friends. They tend to be older, they have jobs already, and they have other friends who can help you get jobs. So um, LinkedIn, also useful in terms of searching people at different companies you're interested in. And I, I, they, don't, they call it cold calling, but we don't call people anymore. You email them or LinkedIn, message them, and say, hey, I'm in your company. I want to learn more about um, what you're doing in this field. You talk to me for about 10 or 20 minutes sometime. Here's some things I'm available. And express interest and set up informational interviews. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, in order to find out more about the job of your dreams, et cetera. So basically, once you've figured out who you are, what you want, you go find the networks online, offline, parents, LinkedIn, it allow you to um, get to where you want to go. Next, stay organized. I use an Excel spreadsheet with a list of my people on my phone because my phone never dies. It's friends. I have former employers for applications, um, people to talk to at conferences and job um, interviews and stuff, and then prospects. Like I go to the Learning Careers Network and I pull off lists of people's names and companies I want to talk to, stick them in a spreadsheet, and then one by one email them and say, hey, I'm Catherine. I'm interested in your company. I want to talk. That's setting up an informational interview um, to start networking in your field. Networking, you know what that networking means? It's like when you um, use social networks to help you get a job type of thing. It's like meeting the people with the intent to get the job. But, um, so yeah, email lists, events, conferences, learn about the field, do your homework, stock or go. <clears throat> so, informational interviews. Informational interviews are like kind of coffee dates with um, jobs in a way, or people who can help you get to your job. So they tend to be on the phone, but can be in person, or coffee, or lunch, or whatever. And the idea is you don't ask for sex in the first date. You don't ask for a job or informational interview. So you want to get to know the person, or the field, or the job, get an idea of what makes this field tick, what makes you know, um, you know that person want to be in this field, learn more about um, the, what you're interested in. And then you, after you have an interview, an informational interview, you follow up with an email saying thank you, it's 24 hours, generally also with other interviews, follow up with an email saying thank you. Um, and just talk to parents, friends, professors, classmates, alumni careers network. Alumni are pretty friendly in general. Um, random people on LinkedIn, not so much necessarily, but alumni generally have an um, interest in helping out undergrads. So use the careers network of the password that's in the handout because they're pretty nice. So um, you want to build a relationship basically and fill out your big spreadsheets or use Act 2000 to manage your contacts list. Stay organized again and you want to figure out um, what kind of things would be helpful to know about the field. Like you want to learn more basically in official interviews. You don't ask for a job on the first date, but however, I have a story about official interviews. So y'all know Chris Ferreira, right? Um, we shelled books in the reg about two or three years ago and, you know, random acquaintances, whatever. Then about last summer, I was at a party on Hyde Park, and I met her like 11 o'clock on a Friday night, and was like, oh, I remember some this with you, how's things going? And she talked to me about her job, and all the things was going on, and then I realized, well, I was interested in what she's working on. So, talked for a little while about her job, and then, since then, we've been talking a lot about nonprofits and business, and she connected me to this guy who's the president of a board of a nonprofit, and also a nonprofit consultant. I talked to him, his name is Jay, and that was about September or August last year. So. He connected me to this firm called Wellspring Consulting, where they have do nonprofit consulting for um, nonprofits in the East Coast, which I kind of where I want to be. And he said, "Talk to this person, talk to the other person, send me the resume, and connected me to where I want to be." 
So I emailed them September saying, hey, I'm interested in, you know, associate positions and I'd like to talk to you some time about this or, you know, let me know how I can apply. They're like, we don't have anything right now, but come back in a month. I emailed them once a month for the next six months, September through March. No, I'll call back in a month. No, I'll call back in a month. And then finally, in March, I get an email saying, hey, position open, we just had a new budget, so how about we set a phone interview next week? And I'm like, yes, phone interview! It's like the first step. Phone interview is kind of like a coffee or lunch date with an employer. And then I got a phone interview, did well, and they're flying me out to New Haven in two weeks. So that's how you go from random acquaintance, shoving books in the red, to jobs. The answer is um, figuring out what you want, going for it, meeting people, following up, following up again, being polite, following up, and keep going for what you want until it happens. Okay. Interviews. Once you have your network, you get your suit, your business cards, your resume, apply for the job, your schedule, you got one tomorrow, what do you do? So, show up early, it's kind of obvious. Dress well, have questions for the interviewer, and okay, do your homework. If you want to know what the company's situation is right now, what kind of problems they're facing, um, what is going on in the field, like, or what have questions at the job, like, when you find out about the, the next step in the process, or who else is interviewing, how many people are considering, um, like, just whatever questions you have that you want to ask them, because you don't want to show up in an interview and be like, I don't have any questions at the job. It kind of looks like you haven't done any homework, that you're not interested, that you're not engaged, and they don't even care about you. So, in order for them, like in jobs and dates, you want them to care about you, you got to care about them. Also, Always get the business card of the person who interviews you because you want to be able to follow up with them with an email in 24 hours to thank them. Because no matter what, if it's a horrible interview or a great interviewer, always thank the person who interviews you because it takes their time out of their day to interview you and um, you to be polite because you never know who could be your next employer. In the interview itself, be sure to highlight how you can help the organization do what they do better. So if it's an example, for example, um, say you're managing a cafe and you want to figure out who'd be the best barista you're gonna say like, you know, who would you want to hire? Like someone who's cranky and an alcoholic or really annoying, or someone who's good with people, doesn't get angry if people are cranky. Like, think about what the player wants. Some coffee shops actually hire cranky alcoholics. Okay. Okay, maybe like cop coffee shop. Coffee. <laughs> 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 like, the idea is like you want to think about what they want in order to think about how to phrase your answer to their questions so that um, you can be a better candidate. For example, Whenever they say something about yourself, don't talk about like your love life last weekend. Talk about you know how your skills and interests relate to the job at hand, why you're a really good fit, and how you can help them do what they do better. You know, for example, like with coffee shops, like I don't know, where do you want to come to work? Like for example, physics, econ, I don't know, Dan. Like, where do you want to work? No, like physically, where do I want to work? No, I mean like types of jobs. Oh, um, like. Professionally or just like over the summer? Either. Uh, like over the summer I'd look for anything that paid me in Hyde Park, hopefully on campus. Like in real life I want to be a teacher. Okay. So you want to be a teacher. So, I mean, you highlight past experience in um, babysitting or in tutoring or in volunteering with neighborhood schools program. You talk about how your zeal for teaching and making a difference would be applicable to the program because your enthusiasm intellectual drive and patience would be a good fit with their program or whatever. Basically, think about what they want, talk a good game, and hopefully they'll hire you. So that's the idea. Um, again, the last category I think is follow up and be polite. So be nice, you never know who may end up being your boss. Um, being prompt is important, like within 24 hours, because they used to be able, you used to send cards like um, by mail, it takes like a week to get there, and they may have decided it before then. So generally, um, thank by email promptly if you feel inspired to have done this maybe twice. Um, someone to out of your way to help you, like send them an actual card with like flowers on it, something like that, like a nice note. You know, both in paper and by email, depending on um, the level of involvement. We can talk about it later too. So part 